Welcome to my channel folks. Today I am going to show you how to create a blank EBS volume of a certain size and also how to modify it if in case required. So I have logged into my EC2 dashboard. As you can see here, I am under the EBS section and under that volumes, you have create volumes and click on create volume and you have multiple choices here, general purpose, provisioned IOPS, cold storage and throughput optimized or magnetic disk. So for most of the default cases, general purpose is fine and you can choose the size of your disk here. In this case, I'm going to choose 10 GB. And in case if you are not satisfied with the IOPS that you are getting with uh, the default general purpose, you can go ahead and change it to provision IOPS and say, I want 500 IOPS here. And you need to choose the availability zone where you want it to be used. So if your server is in availability zone 1A, then choose 1A. If it is going to be used in 1B, then choose it. My server is going to be in 1A, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And I want this to be a blank volume. I don't want a Ubuntu or a NAT instance or any other instance. So I'm not choosing any snapshot from where it is to be copied. So I also don't want it to be encrypted. So I leave that as empty. I want it to be tagged so that I know that this is a blank volume. That is empty data. It has to be formatted and then attached. So all you have to do is click on create volume and you get your volume ID here and click on close. It takes you back to the dashboard and let us refresh our screen to see what's happening. You can see here the volume is available and it is not encrypted and it is not attached to any server. So let us go ahead and attach this volume to another server and see what happens. I have come to my instances and you can see here there is one production server running in AP South 1A and it is also having public IP address so that we can connect to it and run some commands on our disk. So I'm going to my, go to my volumes and click on my blank volume and attach it to my server now. So all I have to do is click on attach volume and if I click here automatically it will pick up the server and pick up the server and then I'm just going to say click on attach. And if you keep your eye on your attachment section here automatically it will see the server name is picked up here and if I go to my server uh, console I will issue the df-h command and you can see here that these are the default file systems that are mounted. So if I do ls block, I should be able to see one more disk available here. So I think my session has gone stale. So I'm just going to go ahead and open another session. We should be there anytime now. You can see here there is an additional disk of 10 GB disk here. So I'm just going to format it first mkfs hyphen txt4 slash dev and xbtf so now that is done i have file system the only thing left is mounting this disk and writing to it so before mounting i just want to create a mount point for this so i'm just going to say mk directory hyphen p slash blank wall that's what I'm going to call that and then I'm going to mount my disk there and now if I go to df-h I should be able to see my new volume and I can mount it. it is mounted so I should be able to jump to it and write to it so let us say I am going to say touch new file so voila that is it yeah, if i go df-h and if i do ls-l my disk is there I'm, I'm writing data to it and you can see here it is about 9.8 gb now so what is the next step is i'm going to go ahead and increase my volume size to 20 gb now i'm going to go ahead and click on modify volume and i'm going to say i want a 20 gb disk instead of a 10 gb disk and click on modify here and it gives me a nice little warning that if you're modifying here you need to extend your file system on Linux also if you're not sure what commands to run click on this it will help you with the commands as well so let me click on that and you can see here the modify volume action is uh, taking into effect if I refresh my screen 
it will say that it is in optimizing state at 35 percent percentage so in a short while it will complete at 100 percentage and we should be able to see the changes on our server as well i'm just going to check once again to see if the optimization has been complete and there you go the optimization is complete let us go back to our console <clears throat> and do ls block and see what is the size of the disk now you can see here it is 20 gb now so let us resize it so that it the file system grows to the entire 20 size so the command is resize to fs and then the block device name slash dev xbtf So it's going to run in a minute and get completed. So you can see here it is completed. The file system is now extended to the new size. So if I go ahead and do df-h, I should be able to see the new file system is a 20 GB and we are all having 19 GB to write. And even if I do a ls-l, I should have the file that we created just now. That is a new file. So that is how you create a volume, attach it to a server, and if the performance is required or size is required, you go ahead and modify it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you like it.